Hey, hey everybody, Steph here. So, in this vlog, I'm going to talk about managing a code base for a long time. This is something I guess a lot of developers don't get to do because, especially if you're a freelancer, you build an app, you get out of there, and you may get calls on occasion to update it. But to really manage a long term app, I'm talking about three, four, five years, six years long, and what the reality of that situation is. And it's just not just my experience, but I've seen it elsewhere. So, let me go back to uh, a story, uh, an experience I had, an encounter I had with somebody at a wedding, and he was a top developer at Microsoft, and he worked on the Microsoft Word team. And I asked him, why is Word with every new version so much bigger? It was 200 megs and 400 megs and 800 megs to install and so on. And he told me what happens is that when they build a new version of Word or Windows, Excel, whatever, they keep layering code on top of code. They don't actually go and touch the previous code base much at all. They're too afraid to because they don't want to break anything. And so at the time, I remember I was snickering going, well, what kind of lousy coders are they, right? Come on, you got to keep your code up to date. At least that's what the, the books will tell you. But the, the thing is, is that when you're actually writing code in the real world, and you have to deal with deadlines, you're dealing with changing requirements, you're dealing with all kinds of unknowns, and you, you just, it, just, it just doesn't work that way. The way it works is that you're going, to, um, you're going to get it out as quickly as possible. You're going to try to implement some best coding practices, as I discussed in other videos, to try to keep it clean as possible. Aim for simplicity, that helps a lot. But at the end of the day, you're probably just going to be writing uh, layers upon layers just to keep uh, things simple for yourself. So, uh, let's go back to my code base. Same thing with my app, Studio Web. It's pretty much a bug free app now, it works very well. But I have to admit, there are aspects of the code base that's you know, not too good, not too good at all. And so, what we've done to deal with that is instead of trying to get into that uh, uh, can of worms and uh, that could lead to all kinds of problems that we're not sure about. You know, you never know. You pull a string here and something can break over there. And yes, that's a sign of some messy code, but that's the way it goes. So what you do is you you start using a facade pattern, which is basically building a layer on top of it. But these days with cloud-based technologies, with uh, microservices architectures, this becomes much easier to do, much more feasible to do. And that's what we did. We, we wanted to update our ORM, because the ORM we were using in the original app from six years ago now, is a little dated, and so instead of trying to gut that ORM, which would have been a pretty big job, we just implemented an API, which is a series of microservices, and then uh, we process reports and so forth through this new API, which is far better, far more advanced, and then we return the results, the, the refined results, back to the old app, so uh, the old app can take advantage of all the new crazy powerful ORM tools that are out there now without risking busting anything in the old app and everything works fine everything works fine so that is a reality of modern day coding where when you are faced with deadlines pressures and so on you can't necessarily adhere to all the uh, the idealisms if you will of coding it's just the way it is unfortunately unless you're building really small apps then you know then you can you know then it's pretty easy but again that doesn't that does not mean you should throw away good coding practices that stresses out even more you should know simple functions and simple classes uh, good naming conventions uh, separation of concerns uh, that sort of thing and if you do that that will go a long way to help make your code less crappy and now i'll leave with this a good friend of mine once said well said recently using other words i'm going to use the the more politically correct terminology he said there's either a crappy code or crappier code in this world ciao ciao